story kicks off in a small village surrounded by woods and farms where Layla lives a quiet life. One day, she starts noticing strange things happening in her old house. Stuff moves around without explanation, and doors creak open and shut slowly in the late hours of the night. She begins hearing faint whispers that grow louder over time. At first, the sounds seem to come from the corners of her room, but they get so close that she feels like someone is whispering in her ear. Layla feels like something is always watching her, but every time she tries to look into the corners of her room, there's nobody there. The atmosphere around her feels heavy, as if something unnatural is taking over the place. One night, she wakes up to find her window wide open, the wind blowing the curtains fiercely, even though she had shut it tight before bed. As she moves to close it, she catches a glimpse of a shadowy figure of a man standing in the yard outside, staring at her intensely. But when she blinks, he disappears. If you liked the story, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to receive more scary and interesting stories. Always follow us on the In The Dark channel. You will not experience moments of horror and mystery together. Layla starts seeing the same guy in her dreams over and over again. In the dream, he's handsome and mysterious, speaking to her in an ancient language she doesn't understand. But each time he gets closer, almost touching her. He whispers in her ear things that scare her, but also pull her in with a strange attraction. Layla begins to feel his presence in her daily life not just in her dreams. Whenever she sits alone, she feels a cold touch on her shoulder or a breeze brushes against her ear. This presence follows her everywhere. At first, she tries to convince herself she's just imagining things. But one night she actually feels a real touch on her skin, as if someone is gently running their hand over her arm. She runs away terrified but she realizes that the djinn has crossed the boundary of her dreams to become part of her reality. As the days go by, the djinn grows stronger and more controlling over Layla's life. She starts hearing his voice during the day, calling her by strange names and beckoning her. Every time she tries to ignore him, she feels something heavy pressing down on her chest, as if a nightmare is sitting on her while she's awake. The djinn appears to her as a man with sharp features, hiding a terrifying sense of control behind his good looks. He confesses to her in a dream that he's her lover, and that he won't allow any other man to come near her. Layla starts losing control over her life. She distances herself from her friends, unable to leave the house much, feeling the djinn following her everywhere. Sometimes he speaks to her directly, telling her that she belongs to him alone. One day, she finds herself speaking in a voice that isn't her own, as if someone else is using her mouth. She tries to scream, but she can't, and the more she resists, the more intense the feeling of suffocation and weakness becomes. Layla seeks help. She visits a well-known sheikh in the village and tells him about her experiences. He looks into her eyes and sees signs of a demonic presence. He warns her that this jinn isn't just any jinn. It's a powerful being with irresistible abilities, and it has become attached to her. He gives her charms and praise for her well-being, but she notices that the djinn starts retaliating. Every time she tries to use the charms or pray, she feels a sharp pain in her head and sees dark shadows dancing around her. 
the djinn starts showing its anger violently. It breaks things in the house, forcefully opens doors, and makes the windows rattle. It begins attacking anyone who comes near Layla. One night, while Layla is sitting in her room, her little brother comes in to check on her. But suddenly the windows begin to shake violently, and mirrors shatter. Her brother feels something hit him in the air, throwing him back. The djinn sends a clear message. Layla belongs to it alone. Layla finds herself completely trapped. She can't go back to her normal life and feels like the djinn has become a part of her. Every time she tries to escape, he shows up in different forms. In the mirror, in her dreams, and even in the whispering voices that fill the empty rooms. In the end, Layla decides to make one last sacrifice. She heads to an abandoned house on the outskirts of the village, known as a refuge for evil spirits, planning to perform an ancient ritual the Sheikh told her about. But just as she's about to do it, the djinn appears to her in a crucial moment, telling her that any attempt to get rid of him will result in the death of her loved ones. Layla realizes at that moment that she's stuck between the world of the living and the dead. The ending remains ambiguous, leaving readers wondering whether Layla succeeded in escaping the djinn, or if he took her with him into his world. If you like the story, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can receive more scary and interesting stories. Always follow us on the In the Dark channel to live moments of horror and mystery together.